Hello ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we have something I've been waiting for for a while. This is Luna's Determination, an animation by Minty Root set to a piece by Melodic Pony, who passed away last June. He was 27 years old, far too young, and this animation is very much in part a tribute to his memory. Melodic composed orchestral arrangements, and the song here, Luna's Determination, gives a lot of possibility for an animation. It's a piece that fits the character really well. At times, there's a somberness to it. At times, it feels like it could represent her inner turmoil. But in the end, there's, I suppose, a hopefulness and an air of tranquility to it, perhaps matching the serenity of Luna's ideal night. Minty Root is an interesting animator who has works that you may have seen. If not, go check him out. Among his most popular are Project Thundercloud 1 and 2. He also created Dinky's Destiny, a very visually cool prologue to what was going to be a bigger narrative before some complications arose. Minty has some fun short animations on his channel, and he was part of the collaboration team behind Good Morning Baltimore, the BronyCon musical piece from a couple years ago. This past BrodyCon, I actually went to a couple panels he was on. He seems pretty cool, very reserved. Kind of like Fluffy Mixer, I'm on a tangent. Anyway, he's been working on Luna's Determination for a long time. He put out an animatic almost a year ago. I did not watch that, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. Though I know that Star Swirl's in it, so it might be a historical piece a la Lullaby or Moon Rises. And that's some pretty good company, I'd love to be able to put this video in the same breath as those two. But it's a little too soon to be passing judgement, let's see what all the fuss is about. Alright. The moon. Like the princess. Oh, that's a pan down that's very reminiscent of, uh, Lullaby. Okay, that is very much... Lullaby for a Princess opening right there. I wonder if that was at all homage. We're in the castle of the two sisters, I believe. Yeah. And this is the present, probably. What with all the destruction. Nice character models, really nice environment so far. Like, we've been transitioning from scene to scene. And all these backgrounds are... ...really solid. Look at a three-dimensional bell. That's Star Swirls, I assume. What? That snow looks really good. Yeah, Tiny Luna, Tiny Tia. And Star Swirl was their mentor. We know that much, though. Uh, I wonder how much the Season 7 finale into Season 8 will invalidate what happens here. Much like the Season 4 intro for Lullaby for a Princess. looks like <laughs> okay that was a little that was a little South Park right there it looks like Star Swirl helped Luna channel her magic oh no right and the unicorns raised the moon before the princesses did Luna's a little jiggly there Oh, okay, or lowered the moon. Or both, I guess. Star Swirl, okay, help Luna. Oh, get her cutie mark! That's a cool origin story for that. They even got a painting in the castle! How neat! I like the idea of Luna and Star Swirl being BFFs. Oh, 
Oh no. Is he gonna die in this? Oh, that'd be terrible. Oh, but he's like, you can do it on your own. Because I won't always be around for you. The environment work is really good. The animation is missing frames, but I'm... I don't want to just focus on that. That's a good pan, though. That was really solid. Yeah, oh, now, yep, he's gone. I wonder if the implication here was that he died. But now we can uh, retroactively canonize it by saying he was missing. Oh, man. Luna. It's okay. You moved on. You're strong. You have his memory. Mapping into the uh, melodic ponies music really nicely here. Nope, not Nightmare Moon again. I wonder if we're... I wonder if losing Star Swirl had anything to do with her becoming Nightmare Moon. Yeah, she's got it. Thank you so much. All right. Little silent goodbye. Keep Star Swirl in your heart. Oh, memory of Melodic. Yeah, King Mars. I don't know the third one. But obviously, whoever it is passed away. I'll have to look that up. Luna's Determination! Based on Melodics, yep. Mithru Misfortune! Well, thank you for writing that. Minty did all the animation here. Vectoring, alright. That environment work was really good. And that, uh, just the narrative playing throughout. More direct. Oh, thank you, PD. Oh, thanks, Tridashi. I think the narrative was a bit more clear and obvious than a lot of Minty's works from the past. That was really nice. It was really pretty. A good little emotional journey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Luna's Determination from Minty Roots with music by Melodic Pony attributed to his memory, as well as two other late members of the fandom, King Mars and Diana Yado, who were known for voice acting and art, respectively. It was a very nice tribute, a thoughtful video, and a good animation. I could only imagine that Melodic Pony would be honored to have something like this come out of his music. I think Minty mapped his animation to the flow of the song very well and took great advantage of the tone of the composition. It fit the narrative of a loner reminiscing about her childhood when she found a friend who helped her grow and develop into an adult. A friend who is with her in memory and only memory. More generally, I really enjoyed the idea of Luna and Star Swirl having a close relationship. It would make for a believable backstory and an interesting addition to both of their characters. The idea that Luna did have that one individual who helped her, who enjoyed her night, and then was gone. And in the context of canon, it would be a cool way to inject some character into Star Swirl. Because from the show, we still don't know that much about him as a person. I digress. Here, Minty definitely avoided the pitfalls of a vague or unfocused storyline that hindered the development of Dinky's destiny. Granted, this is meant to be a single, encapsulated piece, but it managed to convey everything it needed to without any words. Props on that, and speaking of visuals, the environments are really good throughout this entire thing. 
The cinematography is solid, and it was always a treat to see a new setting pop up. The background work here made me think of Lullaby and The Moon Rises in the best of ways, which is maybe a big reason why the animation itself is disappointingly jarring. From what I've heard, Minty Root went through a lot of trouble in the development of this animation, and at a certain point I imagine he chose to settle with what he had, which is by no means bad on its own, so that he could work on other things. The character models are fine, and they usually look good inside the scenes. Additionally, you can always see and understand the intention of the animation, but there's a jitter to it, missing frames in the animation that's inconsistent in a way that's jarring, especially in contrast to the ever-flowing mains and magical auras running at full frame rates. It's still a treat to watch, it looks nice, and obviously a lot of time went into it. It's just unfortunate that that aspect of the video could not match the environments or the music. I feel like this video could break out and stand out in a much bigger way if that wasn't holding it back. And I know that would take a lot of time, and maybe that was not worth it to Minty, and that's why he made that decision, and that's completely fair. Regardless, this video is still a very nice treat, one of the more interesting fan works of 2017, and it's a great tribute. According to Minty, he learned a lot through the development process, and hopefully he carries that knowledge into his next work. I look forward to whatever that is. So Minty, keep up the great work. And everyone else, thank you for watching. Until next time, remember, gone but not forgotten.